I made this video to show you how to navigate through your fitness activity and nutrition log. I'm going to take you through all the slides that you will be filling out so that you know how to get credit for everything that we will be doing, which will be worth one third of your grade. There are four exercise categories that you will be logging, plus one nutrition category, five categories in total. Cardio activities, strength activities, everyday activities, stretching activities, plus your diet. All right, let's start on the first page here so I can talk you through how to navigate the fitness activity and nutrition log. Notice the directions up on top, all right? And all the way at the bottom, there is a purple line. Let's go to the left of the purple line where you see this little Pac-Man looking guy. It looks like a guy talking. If you press that, you're going to hear the things that are written up on the page. So let me give you an example. I'm going to press the thing on the left. Directions. Every week you will be logging your exercises, activities and nutrition on this Juno pod. Make sure you fill out all the possible choices on all the slides. You will have to scroll up on your screen on some of the slides to see all the answer choices. Watch the video link on how to navigate through the log so that you know how to do it. All right, so I stopped it by pressing the spot where he was again, the little stop button. Notice at the bottom here also where it says page one of 16 and then you see a little orange dot. As you go through the slides and complete them, the orange dot will fill up this deep purple line. And eventually when you get to the end and the purple line is all filled out with orange, you know you're done. All right, let's take a look at how to navigate through the slides. On the bottom right, you see an arrow to the left and you see an arrow to the right. Let me go ahead and click the arrow to the right. Notice there are three slides here that are cardio. One, two, three. So there's three cardio portions that you have to fill out. Let's start with the first one and I'm gonna use the little audio guide so I don't have to read it. How many total minutes did you spend doing cardio this week at a moderate to vigorous intensity? Things like run, play a sport, exercise along with a video, jump rope, etc. All right, so let's think about this. I jogged a few times and I, let's say I did it three times. And every time I jogged, I jogged about 20 minutes also. All right, so if I add it up, let's say I get 60 to 90 minutes. Notice how it automatically went to the next slide. Now, when it does, notice here too how it's highlighted. I went for a swim. Sometimes it gets glitchy like this. If you touch outside of the choices, notice how it went away. Um, it may pop off. Also notice there are more choices underneath the screen. So you're going to have to, to realize that you're going to have to scroll up and down. Now let's, let's see what uh, choices there are. Um, what type of cardio did I do for the week? Choose the answer that best describes my cardio for the week. Be honest. As long as you check something, it won't affect my grade. All right. Um, let's see. I took a jog. We already talked about that. Um, I did swim this week. I went over to my mom's house and she has a pool. And um, I skated with my kid and I jumped rope. All right, I'm gonna go to the next slide. Those are the things I did. Now the final cardio slide. Now for the car final cardio slide, because I cannot um, put type in real fast, I'm gonna use the audio portion just so you get a general idea of what the paragraph might look like. All right, now, let me point something out. If, 
it would accept your vocal commands like it did for me, I'd say go ahead and use that. But what, what we're gonna find out at the end of the video here is even though I have put this in with my audio text, it's not gonna stay. I'm gonna actually physically have to type it in. I'm going to have to go to my keyboard and then actually type in. Now notice at the end here I typed high. That's just so it actually accepts something. So I'm going to get out of this and go to the next slide. I wanna see if something works. I'll let you know at the end of the video if it does. So we go to the next slide. So now we're done with the cardio portion. Now we're on the strength portion. There's three slides for strength. One, two, and three. So let's go ahead and fill out the strength slides. All right, um, let's say I didn't do any strength training this week. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that. Automatically goes to the next page for you. What type of strength training did you do for the week? Choose the answer that best describes. All right, so it says, and then be honest, as long as you check something, it won't affect your grade. All right, so I already checked that I didn't do anything. I already told you I didn't do anything. So at the very bottom here, it says, I didn't do anything for strength training, but I will write about why I didn't do anything with strength training in my reflection. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that because I didn't do any strength training at all this week. Now I'm gonna hit this, the arrow to the right to go to the last page. And I'm going to go ahead and audio text again because it's way too slow and this video will be way too long if I didn't do it this way. period. All right, now I'm going to try something again. I'm going to say hi. Just the fact that I wrote hi, I'm hoping it accepts it because it won't accept the audio text portion on its own, but maybe if you add something from the keyboard, it'll accept it. We'll find out. As I said, I will point it out at the end of the video. All right, so we filled that slide out. Again, take a look at the bottom um, in purple where it says page seven of 16. So we can see how that orange bar is slowly filling up. Once the bar is all the way full, then we know we're done. All right, let's go to the next slide. Now we are in the activity portion. All right, I'm gonna let the little guy talk. How many minutes did you spend on low to moderate physical activities this week? Things like wash a car, walk the dog, clean your room, cruise on a bike, etc. All right, so I am going to say, if I add everything up, maybe 30 to 60 minutes. Automatically goes to the next slide. Now let's take a look. Again, notice the glitch is highlighted on right of scooter, so I'm gonna put my finger on the outside of all the choices as I scroll up, and it just magically goes away. All right, so these are the things. Let me choose what work, what I did. Um, I see I walk the dog. Walked it every morning. Um, I had to clean my room. My wife made me make the bed. Um, I did take a bike ride with my wife. And um, that's it. I will go to the next slide. So now we filled out nine of 16, next slide to the right. Reflect on your activity for the week. I'm not gonna give you a whole explanation, but I will show you what I mean. I'm going to put hi on it because I typed it out and obviously notice that you would fill out a whole paragraph. Don't just put hi, but I don't want this video to take forever, so I'm going to move on. So I put hi and I think it will accept it because I actually wrote it in. Let me move to the right. Next slide. How many total minutes did you spend working on your flexibility this week? All right, so 
I'm going to go ahead and say I didn't work on my flexibility at all this week. It's going to go to the next slide. But because I didn't, I have nothing to fill in except for this bottom one. I didn't stretch, but I'll write down why I didn't stretch in my reflection. So I click that one and I'm going to go to the next slide. I'm going to go ahead and fill it out. Now, I'm not gonna put anything on this, and later on you'll notice that everything I wrote here will be gone. As I said, I'm doing a little experiment to see if I can have you guys voice over instead of having to actually text it in on your phones or whatever you're doing it on. All right, now we are done with slide 13 of 16. Let me go to the next slide. All right, so the next three slides are nutrition slides. Um, when reflecting on my diet, how would I say I did for the week? Um, it wasn't one of my best weeks, but it wasn't terrible either. Um, I'd say, let's see, one being worse, 10 being best. I'd say I was somewhere around six to a seven. I think I was somewhere in the middle, had some good days. All right, now let me choose the type of foods I had. All right, well, I definitely had some fruits and veggies and lean meats, um, but I was stress eating a little bit because of this pandemic. I had some desserts and I gotta be honest, I had a soda. Um, my wife made me a salad. I did have a protein drink. Um, I did drink water at some point, a few glasses. Um, I noticed some chocolates on the counter. I did eat those. Um, most of the food was homemade. We didn't go eat out. Um, I did overeat when I had my pie and ice cream with my little stress eating episode I had. And um, other foods not listed here, other drink. Oh, I did have an horchata. So let me put that one down. All right, so now let me go to the next slide. Um, reflect on my nutrition. All right, um, let me do the audio input again. All right, you would write more than that. Remember, every time you fill it out, it should be about a paragraph. And notice we are done with 16 of 16, but it, that orange bar still has a little bit more to go. That means we have to go press to the right. And now I'm gonna point out what I was telling you earlier. I'm gonna do the arrow to the right, ah, ready to turn in. Now notice I did audio text and I at some point filled in something with a keyboard. So I'm guessing that as long as you actually text something in at some point, you can probably use audio text. And if for some reason it doesn't accept it, it won't go to this slide and you'll have to do it again and it'll just be disappeared. But as I go back and take a look, it's still there. And the reason it's still there is because I See, I wrote hi there. It actually accepted it and stayed. Other times when I only did the audio text and I went back to these slides, everything I wrote down was gone and I was wondering why, but it's because I didn't actually text it in. Anyways, getting back to this, take a look. Now we can turn it in. So I'm gonna press turn in now and then I'm going to stop the video. Turn in now. All right. It worked. Hopefully that helped you navigate through your fitness activity and nutrition log. And if you know how to do this, you should be able to navigate through any video lesson that I post. So I'm not going to make another video showing you how to move through it.